Wow, that's way off. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you a little trick today that's gonna help you guys out if you're ever in need when you're doing a three stage and you can't get a good chip and your camera's not picking up the pearl. So let's get into this one, guys. You're gonna really appreciate it. All right, guys, and welcome back. So we've all had three stages through the years that don't match the chips in the variant decks and also some of our spray out cars that we have. So sometimes cars are painted you know, at different shops and they just do whatever because they're blending it out. So you have to do different things like tinting colors and, uh, you know, dialing in that color that somebody else did and it may not be right. So what I've done through the years to get me into the ballpark and it's worked well for me when I have these wild card colors is when you shoot the pearl, shoot the pearl as a solid, let it pick up that white and then shoot it again as the pearl and use that top coat on top of that bottom white that you uh, use as the solid camera shot. And that's getting me out of a lot of trouble through the years and I'm gonna do a job today with it and show you how it works. So let's get into it. Make sure you clean the panel. I, can't, I cleaned it with compound. Now you wanna take your shots. And this one here has three shots it takes because we're panel painting a bumper on this. So go ahead and get it. Make sure you clean the panel off with compound before you do that. And then we're gonna put this in as a solid when we mix this color up. So let's do that now. All right, so here's what we're painting, a spare tire cover and a new raw bumper for that vehicle. So we gotta panel paint the bumper up to the quarters. That's why I shot the quarters. Make sure you shoot the panel next to what you're actually painting. Don't go up towards the front if you're doing the back. I've seen guys go towards different panels on the vehicle that they're not even gonna be painting near with the camera and shooting different areas, so. So now that you got your camera shot, go ahead and pick, put your camera in as you normally would when you're doing a shot. And when it asks you for whether it's a metallic or if it's a solid or an effect color, depending on whatever system you're using, Put it in as a solid, so that way it mixes that color as a solid. And you'll see, you'll get a really good reading on that color compared to what you had as, as a metallic or a pearl. So go ahead and mix that up and do a spray out card and uh, check it from there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on this job here and I'll show you how I do it to make sure that we're gonna be good. You just don't go with it. Remember, all these things are tools you have to make your job better. They're not, anything isn't sure in this business. So you have to use them when you need them. And that's when I use this camera for different tricks like this. So let's get into it. All right, guys, we went ahead and adhesion promoted the raw bumper and then sealed it with our white. That way we save a step and we get to the point of this video here. So now we're gonna go ahead and start spraying our spray out card. We got our spray out card ready. I got my paint mixed up. And now we're gonna get the coverage on the card and we'll check the color to see how close it is without any pearl on it. So let's get that going. All right, guys, we got coverage on the card. And now there's the, the, the white up to that panel. And look how close that matches without any pearl on it. So you guys see I'm in the weather here. We're gonna put the pearl on it. We'll count our coats. All right, guys, I had to get out of that rain, but we're gonna go ahead now and put our pearl on. And now that you have that color so close in the ground coat, you don't have to keep putting pearl on to get your desired color because you already got to that yellowy color with the base coat. So I'm gonna put on two coats and then I'm gonna go ahead and clear it. And I'm gonna put this bumper on the car and show you guys how good it matches once we get it sprayed. So stay tuned. You guys are here live with me and it's raining out. So we have to do what painters do, get in and out and uh, check our colors in the rain if we have to. So let's do it. All right, guys, you see me put the pearl on the card nice and light like I did the bumper and I have it away from me. 
That way I'm not putting too much on and that card is accurate. So we'll go check that. You've seen I put the pearl on light because we're not going for the coverage of that pearl to be colored to match the car. We're going just for that shimmer effect from the pearl. And the color underneath is where we're gonna be matching this thing up to because you guys know we shot that for a solid. That way it picked up that yellowy look in the bottom coat. So let's go check this card, make sure we're still good and then clear it and check the bumper out on the car. All right guys, we're still in the ballpark and you guys see that matches really well. I don't know how much you can tell on the camera but we'll put the bumper on it and check it. Let's go ahead and clear it. All right, it's all cleared and it came out nice. So we'll have to unmask that now and get it on the car. And I was shooting this one in here with it too. I figured I'd show you. We did a new bedside and a tailgate. You guys know I like to get as much in a booth as I can. So this is a good load now. We'll let this thing bake, we'll unmask it and we'll try it out on that car and see how it looks. All right, guys, look how good that color matches now, doing that trick. And look at these other chips, how far off they are from that normal uh, color that we made. So definitely the way to do it when you have a problem. Check that camera, but make sure you double check your card. Don't just run with it. I've done this many, many times. But you guys can see that's the new cover on mast and on the car. So. All right guys, now I'm over here on the other side. I got another one to shoot over here. I hope you guys like this video. Definitely a good option when you got no other choice. Your chips don't match and your camera's not picking up the normal pearl. Shoot it with that thing as a solid and then put the pearl over the top of it. And on that one there, I went with the prime pearl coat over the top of that camera shot for the solid that we took. So you guys seen that color look good even on a rainy cloudy day and that's usually when the pearls look a lot whiter than they do in the sun you can hide it more with that pearl but that thing looked good and i hope you guys use that trick one day and it helps you out so we'll see you on the next one